13th. Share in the all new excitement at tcm.com slash festival. I've never been the same since I saw this movie. Simply one of our best directors ever. It's amazing, it's beautiful to look at, it's entertaining. This is a terrific movie, it's one of my all time favorites. I think it's a perfect essential. How Green Was My Valley, 1941. The sets in this movie are very impressive, very real. Maureen O'Hara's performance makes you feel her yearning. This is one of the best non-Westerns John Ford ever did. This is a film that tackles such heavy issues, but does it with such a tenderness. How Green Was My Valley, 1941. Wonderful movie, I think. John Ford, one of the John Ford non-Westerns. But uh, such a touching story. It takes place in Wales, South Wales, you know, and it's a life in this small mining village in South Wales as seen through the eyes of a 10-year-old boy. And uh, it's just so tenderly done, so sweetly done. And this wonderful cast of actors. I think it's just an exceptional movie. I think some movies that we talk about are essentials and classics that people have seen, you know, for many years, and you want to look at it sort of as a new critique. And uh, there are just, uh, if, if there are films that you haven't ever seen or you've missed, and they're so important to see and know about, not only uh, just as a cinephile, but um, as the movie itself. And this is just, it really is. It's so beautiful and tender and... Mm -hmm. You know, it's about um, some sort of dour subject matters at times, mm -hmm. and yet it does not have that sort of dour heaviness on it. It, it, it maintains this sort of delicate elegance uh, throughout it. I found even when they were sort of dealing with some of the harder things in the film, it lacked a depressing mm -hmm. nature. It still had a... Um, a tenderness, as right. you say. And in its way, it, it reminds me a lot of The Grapes of Wrath, which John Ford made just a year before, because it's about a family without a lot of money, hardworking family, and about how they stick together and survive all these different things thrown at them. This is Hugh's affair. He shall decide. Say the word, lad, and we will have the bones hot from his flesh. No. Leave them alone. I think our baby brother is becoming quite a man. Roddy McDowell, you know, who we all knew as an older actor, everything, as a young kid, was just terrific as an actor with the sweetest face and innocence in his eyes and everything. And it's through his eyes that we hear the story. He really is such a big part of the heart of this film um, and part of that delicate nature that this film has. You're right about his eyes. They're unbelievable. It's just one of the sweetest performances I've ever seen in mm -hmm. my life. But the whole cast, you get Walter Pidgeon, and you get Maureen O'Hara, and it's the first film she ever made for John Ford. And then you've got wonderful people like Sarah Allgood, who plays the mother, and Donald Crisp, who plays the father and won an Academy Award for his performance, and John Loder, one of the brothers, and Patrick Knowles, and all these terrific actors. I love Maureen O'Hara, and she makes you feel the yearning that she has for a certain someone in this movie so brilliantly that you're just sort of on the edge of your seat wondering if and when it's going to happen mm -hmm. for her because she, I feel like, just sort of takes you in with her um, and, and makes you feel the way that she does. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see this wonderful movie. Here's the winner of five Academy Awards, including the Biggie Best Picture of the Year, 1941, from 20th Century Fox, How Green Was My Valley.